I tell this story to all my new sellers. Please learn from these people's mistakes. You're gonna import less than a container load from wherever, China usually. At the dock, it's gonna get unloaded from the container. It's got a bunch of different people's stuff there. And then they're gonna say, okay, wh where do you want us to ship it to? Ship it to your warehouse, right? And you'll give them my address. If you don't jump on this, they are gonna screw you. Right now, everybody is having trouble getting labor. That includes the docks, okay? So they're unloading these shipping containers and the shipping containers are full of stuff and then either you can toss it on a conveyor belt and shove it out the door to UPS by slapping a label on it or some schmuck has to load it like nicely onto a pallet then they have to wrap the pallet, somebody has to go get a forklift and go and take the pallet away and load it onto a truck and it's a whole, it's a whole thing. But the reason it's a whole thing is because it's a very important way to keep your stuff in one piece while it's traveling from place to place. Uh, a couple of years ago, we had a guy who imported, I'm going to call him a gift item, which is just my generic term for things that people sell on Amazon that are in nice enough retail boxes that you could conceivably give it as a gift. It's coming in a really nice box. It's all shiny. They imported 10 pallets worth like thousands of items. They all came UPS. I don't know if you've ever seen UPS handle packages. They're not super gentle with them. And they just came all smoosh, crash, bash. And of course they get thrown off the truck. We have to stack them. We were looking at them and I was, I was looking at that and being like, man, this is a mess. And one of them got busted open, you know, like they do. I had a look at the stock inside of it and I was like, oh my God. So these really nice gift boxes that this guy had, they're made of things called this, this stuff called paperboard. And you can think of paperboard as the material that they make shoe boxes out of. It's not corrugate like this stuff with the wave in the middle. It's just a really flat sheet. Some of it's stiffer than others, but none of it's really strong like the corrugate is. They all had crush damage because what happens is these master cartons are big enough that they're, and they're heavy enough, they're usually about 40 pounds, that they just get stacked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the top of the truck. And then when they move trucks, the ones on the top go to the bottom of the next pile. All of those in the outside boxes looked like crappy boxes that had been shipped, but they were mostly in one piece. However, the internal retail cartons all had the tops crushed in. And this has happened multiple times for multiple sellers now where I've received goods for them and if they come UPS I open them up because if they've got gift cartons on the inside they often get a lot of crush damage and then they're not giftable and then you've got bad reviews. People use Amazon a lot for gifting and they'll ship it directly to their giftee. You don't know what that customer's experience is but when your customer finds out that they've been embarrassed by the gift that they shipped you're going to get a really scathing review about it. The only way to stop that is to really get on your freight forwarder and be like, under no circumstances do you ship my stock, UPS. You must palletize it and you must make sure that it goes freight, not UPS, FedEx, USPS, none of that garbage. Make sure that it gets treated properly.